do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate number of rise and trades in staircase. So, this is your flow plan which I have already created in my previous video. And now I'll show you how to calculate number of rise and trades of staircase. So, this is your front elevation. This is a multi-story front elevation. This is a multi-story sectional elevation. So I have already created this in my previous video. So here, this is the length of staircase room. So here the length of staircase room is 10 feet. Okay, so this is length of staircase room is 10 feet. So go to dimension, linear. Now I'll check this. Click here and click here. See this is 10 feet. Okay. So length of staircase room is 10 feet. Now here landing is 2 feet and 6 inch. So click here and click here. Now see this is 2 feet and 6 inch landing. Okay. So this is 2 feet and 6 inch landing and staircase room length is 10 feet. Now here building height is 10 feet and 6 inch. Okay. Now we have to calculate number of rise. So for that first we need to calculate total trade or total run. So how to calculate total trade? So to calculate total trade, we have to deduct landing from staircase length. So this is 2.6 inch landing. So this is total trade. Okay. So from staircase length, we need to deduct 2.6 inch landing to get the total trade. Okay. So staircase, always remember staircase length minus landing means from staircase length, always deduct landing to get total trade. Okay, so staircase length minus landing is total trade. Now let's get started the calculation. So this is a section of staircase. Now here the vertical line is rise and the horizontal line is trade. Okay, so this is the landing. And here to here this is total trade. Okay. So here this is riser height or building height and this is total trade. So here riser height is 10 feet and 6 inch and total trade is 7 feet and 6 inch. Okay. So in this building, building height is 10 feet and 6 inch. Staircase length is 10 feet. Landing is 2 feet and 6 inch. Total trade is 7 feet and 6 inch. Okay. So now how to calculate total trade. So I have already told this total trade is staircase length minus landing. Okay. So to get total trade we need to deduct landing from staircase length. Okay. So this is staircase length and here we need to deduct landing from this staircase length to get the total trade. Okay. So this is total trade. So that means st this staircase length minus this landing then will get this total trade. Okay. So hope you understand. So here staircase length is 10 feet and landing is 2 feet and 6 inch. So 10 feet minus landing 2 feet and 6 inch then we are getting 7 feet and 6 inch trade. Okay. So total trade is 7 feet and 6 inch. Okay. So Hope you understand how to calculate total trade. Okay. So now we have to calculate number of rise. Okay. So to calculate number of rise, we need to take desired unit rise. So in some staircase, rise is taken as 5 inch, sometimes 6 inch and or 7 inch. Okay. So here I am taking rise 6 inch. So desired unit rise is 6 inch. Okay. So now we have to calculate number of rise. So, number of rise is building height divided by desired unit rise. Okay. So, building height is 10 feet and 6 inch. Okay. This is building height 10 feet and 6 inch and desired unit rise 6 inch. So, 10 feet and 6 inch divided by 6 inch then we are getting 21 numbers of rise. Okay. So, we are getting number of rise is 21 numbers. Okay. So, now this is 21 numbers of rise. Okay. So now we have to calculate number of trade. So number of trade is number of rise minus 1. Okay. So number of trade is number of rise minus 1. So number of rise 
we have calculated 21 numbers to 21 minus 1. So, we are getting 20 numbers of trade. Okay. So, number of trade is number of rise minus 1. So, this is number of rise is 10, 10 feet and 16 divided by 6. This is 21 numbers. So number of trade is number of rise minus 1. This is 20 numbers of trades. Okay. 20 numbers of rise and 20 numbers of trades. Okay. Now, here why we deduct 1? Okay, so for that come to this figure. So here number of rises 5. This blue colors 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are rise 5 numbers of rise. But here trace us 4 numbers of trades. See 1, 2, 3, 4. Because here the last trade is connected with the slab. Okay, so we need to deduct 1 here. This is the last trade which is connected with the slab. Okay, here we have 4 numbers of trades. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers of rise, but trades are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 numbers of trades because the last trade is connected with the slab. So, for that we need to deduct 1. Okay, so number of trade is number of rise minus 1 because last trade is connected with the slab. Okay, so 21 minus 1, 20 numbers of trades. Okay, so now we need to calculate length of one trade. Okay. So, length of one trade is total trade divided by number of trade. Okay. So, length of one trade is total trades divided by number of trades. Okay. So, this is total trade 7 feet and 6 inch. Okay. So, here number of trade is 20 numbers. So, here we have two flights. So, number of trades for one flight is 20 numbers divided by 2. two. So, 10 of C. This is one flight and this is another flight. Okay. So, Number of trades for one flight is 20 divided by 2. So, 10 numbers of flight. Okay. So, number of trades for one flight is 20, 10 numbers. So, length of one trade is 7 feet and 6 inch. This is total trade divided by 10. Okay. Number of trades. Then we are getting 9 inch. So, length of one trade is 9 inch. Okay. So, this is 9 inch length of one trade okay so this is trade this is nine inch and this is rise okay trade is nine inch okay length of one trade is nine inch so we are getting number of rise 21 numbers this is now number of trade is 20 numbers number of rise minus one now we have calculate trade is nine inch and desired unit rise is 6 inch. Okay. So, number of rise is 21 numbers. Number of trade is 20 numbers. Trade is 9 inch. So, rise is desired unit rise is 6 inch. So, total trade is staircase length minus landing. Okay. So, desired unit rise you may take 6 inch, 5 inch or 7 inch. Number of rise is height of building divided by desired unit rise. We are getting this 21 numbers. So, number of trade is number of rise minus 1. So, here this is 20 numbers. Okay. This is last trade is connected with the slab. So, we deduct 1 here. Okay. Number of trade is number of rise minus 1, 20 numbers. So, length of 1 trade is total trades divided by number of trades. Okay. So, number of trades for 1 flight is 10 numbers. So, 20 divided by 2, 10 numbers. So, length of 1 trade is total trade divided by number of trades. So, we are getting 9 inch. Okay. So, number of trade is, so sorry, trade is 9 inch. Okay. Number of trade is 20 numbers. Number of rise, 21 numbers. Okay. So, now come to the plan. This is the staircase which I have already created in my previous video. So, I will check whether trade is 9 inch or not. So, go to dimension. Linear, now see, click here and click here. This is, see, this is 9 inch. Okay. So, here, this is the staircase length. See, this is 10 feet. Okay. Now, landing is 2 feet and 6 inch. Okay. Now, this is 9 inch. So, hope you understand. So, like this, you can calculate number of rise and trades for any building. Okay. 
So if you understand how to calculate number of rise and trades for staircase, so it's very easy. Now if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.